Up next, we have the fifth annual red carpet charity event for the Barrio Dogs held at the 8 Lounge in Houston. We also had a fashion show given by Teresa Sussman Designs. Here it is. Check it out. We are here with Crystal Carter of Ma of Houston. How's it going for you tonight here at 8 Lounge? It's going great tonight. Yeah. Wow, tell me your role here for the fashion show. I am here to do hair today, so I came as a hairstylist from Ma. So tell me, when did you begin at Ma of Houston? Um, Ma of Houston has been around for about six months. We're um, a hair and makeup glam team in Houston. And um, yeah, so it's about six months. <laughs> so tell me, what do you like best about doing hair or makeup? I love everything about it. I love how I can just bring beauty to the everyday woman. I just love hair. I just love beautifying America. <laughs> so Crystal, tell me what advice would you give the young girls at home about makeup and doing hair? I would tell them if this is your dream, then just go out and follow it. It's going to be a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, but in the end, it's worth it. So tell me what's next for you personally here in Houston, Crystal. The next for me, um, my partner and I were working on building our own beauty bar, so you guys will see that coming soon. Well, you heard it here with Crystal Carter. We are here with the Masters of Hookah, Sindabad. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? So, introduce yourselves. Oh, I'm Nabras. I'm Nabras, the hookah guy, and this is my boy, my Ahmed. The, the best hookah guy in Houston. So, guys, tell me, how can the viewers at home find you online? Oh, they find me online and I have my company, everyone they know. I have website and Facebook, Instagram, a lot of people at our location over in Houston, they call us, they wanted my service. Because when you try my hookah, they know the best hookah over in Houston. We know, like we know in this business over like 13 years. Back home I was doing my hookah business, so we're the best, we know ourselves. Join us anytime. You know, I seen your website and your Facebook and I seen all the pictures. You guys do extravagant hookahs. Y'all don't just leave it at mainstream. Y'all actually go out of y'all's way and y'all do it with fruit and different canvases. What brought you that idea? Oh, this idea is back then. I, I see my father, he was a smoke hookah back then in my country and I learned from him. Actually, even in my country, a lot of people love hookah. So we do a lot of, uh, a lot of like fruits. We do a lot of flavor, whatever flavor you want it. Like whatever you imagine, I got you. Wow, so what brings you to Houston, all around Houston, what do you do? I do like, you know, I do special hookah. I got like pineapple head, watermelon, orange, apple, and I, I got a lot of different tobacco. I got like lemon mint. I, I got a lot like different tobacco. I got sweet, I got strong for people because people, they want to enjoy with the hookah. So, I well, well, to Houston. Houston, woo! Well, there you go. Check them out here at Nightlife. Anytime. 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 Uh, we love for Houston. We are here with Desiree and Bella. How's it going for you today, Desiree? Great. So tell me your position here tonight at 8 Lounge. I was one of the makeup artists for the fashion show. So tell me what you were doing here, Bella. Um, I'm a hairstylist with the Hive Salon and Umble. So tell me what it was like working here behind the scenes. Um, it was great actually working with Teresa. Um, she's a great fashion designer. Um, it was a great experience. So tell me how it was like for you, Bella. Um, I love bringing forth concepts and fashion, so it was really nice to be in the background and help to bring her vision to life. So tell me, what do you like best about Houston working with uh, fashion shows like this one today? Um, I like the fashion trend. I'm actually a fashion student at the Art Institute of Houston, um, so I'm currently working on my own fashion line as well. Bella, if I dare, what are you doing here? Um, well, I relocated to Houston about five years ago, so being here has been a great experience and opening up the doors for if you guys need a runway uh, background team, we're here for you. So that's pretty much what we do. We help to bring the concepts alive, and there's a lot of shows to be able to work and uh, you know get our vision out there with them. So, so if you mind me asking, where are you from? Minnesota. Minnesota. So what was the fashion world like over in Minnesota? Um, it was more of a... Um, corporate type fashion it wasn't really like mainstream where you had a lot of different designers that you know had their own individual pieces to bring out so it was, it's cool working with them yeah so, without saying too much what do you like best about Houston ah. the food <laughs> oh, yeah. um, the food there's so much about Houston you, you just can't get enough of it that's that's the truth you can't get enough so, so tell me 
How can the viewers at home find you online so they can maybe book you for private parties or any events that may come up? Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at DesireeLeticia.com um, and it's D-E-Z-I-R-E-A-L-E-T-I-C-I-A. -E -E How about you? I'm um, Bella Monique um, for my personal info and then you also can find me at The Hive Salon on IG and also on Facebook. We are here with one of the makeup artists of Moab Houston, Gabby Hernandez. How's it going for you tonight, Gabby? It was great. I had a lot of fun. Um, the fashion show was outstanding. You could see that the crowd was really into it. And I was just glad to be a part of it. Man, tell me, how long have you been part of Moab Houston? Um, I've been doing this for about two, three years now. And um, just getting to know a lot of people, a lot of uh, fashion designers, a lot of models, and just network with other makeup artists as well and hairstylists. So it's been a great experience. So Gabby, tell me, when did you begin this whole makeup business? Um, honestly, it had to have been about five years ago. I really learned through YouTube. I taught myself how to do makeup. Okay. And from then, I just learned, you know, through trial and error like everybody else. And uh, through the years, I've gotten better and better. And now I'm doing things for the community. Um, I was glad to be a part of the Barrio charity event and, um, you know, just doing things. So you just love the little doggies, right? I do. I love doggies. I, I had a Yorkshire Terrier. And um, unfortunately, she was poisoned. But, you know, dogs are really dear to my heart. So I was really glad to be a part of this. So what do you think we should do here in Houston uh, to fix the animal cruelty and homelessness? Um, definitely get more involved. Um, a lot of people think that it's not as important, but it is because dogs are a part of the family. Get them neutered, uh, educate yourself, get the knowledge that you need. If you don't know, go through uh, your local SPCA or anything like that. And, you know, just Google anything, you know, you can really find a lot of information out there. We are here with the founder of Barrio Dogs. The reason why we are here tonight at 8 Lounge for the fifth annual event of Barrio Dogs. How's it going for you today, Gloria? It's going fantastic, Trixie. Thank you so much and great shout out to 8 Lounge. Thank you so much for hosting this great event for us. So tell me, Gloria, tell me more about the Barrio Dogs. Uh, we are doing great work in Greater East End, the uh, birthplace of Houston. Uh, a lot of homeless animals, unfortunately, the streets uh, filled with homeless animals and we're trying to do great work in the in schools in the community to raise awareness about the animal overpopulation and the importance of spay and neutering so tell me when did you begin the barrio dogs here in the east side of houston it, we're almost six years old now i mean thank you we're celebrating five years but we're approaching six years but there's so even though we're doing that amount of work there's still so much work that's needed to be done so gloria Tell me about our animal population here in Houston. We, uh, unfortunately, the city of Houston has one of the largest animal overpopulation issues in the nation. According to Bark, our city shelter, we have one of the largest animal overpopulation issues. So tell me, as Houstonians as we all are, what can we do to make a difference here in Houston? There's so many things. You can donate, you can foster, you can adopt, you can write your city elected officials to help us solve this animal overpopulation issue. So tell me, Gloria, one more time, how can the viewers at home get involved and find you online? Barriodogs.org. It's B-A-R-R-I-O-D-O-G-S dot org. Hey Houston, check out my friend Gloria Centeno's nonprofit organization, www.barriodogs.org. Help volunteer, donate, and help a great cause for Houston stray dogs. That website again, www.barriodogs.org. Let's make a difference together.